Hi there, welcome to the channel with more likes than views. Just wanted to ask you, who could be the author of this text? And I give you a little bit, it's not Gabriel Garcia Marquez. It's also not Gabriel Chevalier. There are two other also authors that have a first name Gabriel, because one of the heroes of this story has also the name Gabriel, like million of people. And like other million of people, the other has the name Saladin. And it's about uh, two actors that are TV or cinema actors and they survive a plane crash and they become nuts afterwards because so much stress that they really lose reality. And sometimes they're totally straight there and then at the moment then they, they become really nuts and he describes it from the viewpoint of somebody who gets nuts so that you read that and they say, oh, now he's nuts, but where did it start? And that's the part that's interesting. For me, at least. So here's the text. Who am I? Who else is there? The aircraft cracked in half, a seatbelt giving up its spores, an egg yielding its mystery. Two actors, Prince Gabriel on Botany, pursed Mr. Salin Chamcha, fell like tippets of tobacco from the broken old cigar. Above, behind, below them, in the void, the hung reclining seats, stereophonic headset drinks. Trolleys, motion, discomfort, respectables, disembarkation cards, duty fee video games, braided caps, paper cups, blankets, oxygen masks. Also, for there had been more than a few migrants on board. Yes, quite a quantity of wives who had been grilled by reasonable doing their job officials about the links and distinguishing molds upon their husband's genitals, a sufficiency of children upon whose legitimacy the British government had cast his ever reasonable doubts, meaning with the remnants of the plane, equally fragmented, equally absurd, there floated the debris of the soul, broke memories, slot of selves, severed mother tongues, violated privacies, undesirable jokes, extinguishable futures, lost laughs, land belonging home, knocked a little silly by the blast. The two actors Gabriel and Saladin plummeted like bundles dropped by some carelessly open baked stork, and because Samcha was going down head first in the recommended position for babies entering the birth canal, he uh, commenced to feel a low irritation at the other's refusal to fall in plain fashion. Saladin knows that while Farishta, that's the other, Saladin Farishta, Embraced air, hugging with his arms and legs, and falling in overflowed actor without techniques of restraint, below cloud covered, awaiting their entrance, the slow concealed currents of the English sleeve, the pointed zone of their watery reincarnation. And because of no, that's not text anymore, because of um, two names that are also occurring in another book. This author was not, uh, somebody tried not to kill the author. And uh, because he used in allusion of his own culture, he uh, used in allusion of uh, a book by Al Tabari, uh, volume 6, 107, and the title is an Islamic text, and the Islamic text says it's a certain cast of false revelation of uh, the messenger of God's tongue, and w in which is only. Um, tried this, uh, the founder of, of Islam tried to appease apparently a crowd in rec recognizing three goddesses of the surrounding religions which had been called Alat, Al Utsa, Mumanat as daughters of Allah. But um, then he said, Oh, no, uh, polytheism, uh, not such a good idea. So, and so the moment when he saw he, he became nuts, so that's the problem becoming nuts for a moment. Was the first thing. How can somebody get nuts? And unfortunately, how to get nuts reminded uh, the Iranian president of himself. And instead of saying, maybe if I read somebody getting nuts and I think of myself, maybe this indicates I. I mm, no, he, he only remembered what, what. There was also another poet who made a totally different poem years ago when Islam was founded, who was called Ashraf, who was therefore killed in Tabarin in 797. And we are very sympathetic. This is also written, the prophet declared, kill any Jew who falls under your power. So I'm Jewish. The author is not Jewish. 
Um, I'm against killing Jews because I'm against being killed. If you're now uh, offended that they don't want to be killed, you know what you have to think about yourself. So this uh, youngster who apparently even hadn't read the book um, goes to me and says, hey, yeah, uh, Surat 47, uh, where it's written that because those who disbelieve follow falsehood and those who believe follow the truth from the Lord, thus does Allah present to their people their comparisons. So when you meet those who disbelieve, strike their necks. And that was what happened. And the justification is that you should, instead of, of God, seek revenge. In Judaism, we have a parashat, it's called Hazino, with the description what God, uh, God can do if he is angry at you. A lot. And the conclusion is that we will never do justice if we try to make revenge. Uh, being afraid of revenge of God is really something you should be afraid of. But uh, it's not a human thing. Human, it's forbidden for us human to seek anything else than only justice. Revenge is what Hashem, the name, God does best. So therefore I have no understanding for uh, killing everybody. I also think you can be judged about somebody but not condemn some, say somebody. Because if you want to condemn somebody, then they need a due process. But it's also my religion where you have to hear both sides. And um, what do you think? Who do you think I was talking about? <laughs>